I taught you last year, if you recall, that purpose answers the question why. It is one question you must ask. Why? Why do I want fame? Why do I want increase? In fact, motif is a subset of purpose. You see, if your motif is corrupted, it's because you did not even know what the purpose was in the first place. My greatly revered mentor, blessed memory, Dr. Miles Monroe would say, when the purpose of a thing is not known, he says, abuse is, yes. The word abuse means abnormal use. Use outside of its predefined purpose. Why do you want fame? Why do you want wealth? Why do you want anointing? Listen, desires and pursuits only become profitable to us when they are connected to purpose. This is powerful. Desires and pursuits, any desire at all and any pursuit in life only becomes profitable when it is connected to purpose. I want to be great. Why? Apostle, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a billionaire. Why? I want to be like you. Why? If you cannot ask answer the question why then you do not qualify to step into certain realms and certain dimensions in destiny asking the question why i wrote here is a powerful secret do you know what it does it will help you tame your insatiable appetites the question why always helps men to tame our insatiable appetites there are appetites we have as men that it seems like it can never be satisfied. The question why brings, it tames your appetites. It also tames from your life the temptation of vain living. The temptation of vain living. A man who cannot consistently ask the question why is the man who does not have control over his destiny you will do anything that looks good you will go anywhere that looks right why join this club why be part of koinonia why if you can ask the question why you will be delivered from many troubles in your life there are many people today who have gotten into trouble and they cannot answer the question why why did you join that chariot? Why did you join that association? Are we together? Why? Asking the question why is a secret that can help you tame your appetite. All things are lawful. Please look at me. But not all things are expedient. I have taught you that when Satan brings evil, and you're not interested he will bring good that is not connected to purpose the most important thing is he wants your destruction you must learn to ask the question why i want to go to america why to canada why to us why i don't want to go why i want to be a serious christian why i'm not interested in the things of god why always connect purpose once purpose is in place then you are not afraid of pursuing things you are not afraid of desire if you tell me apostle i want a billion naira i'm not going to say you are joking a billion you spell it by yourself no i won't do that i want a billion naira i'm going to ask you the question why i'm just tired i want to live a better life then you don't need a billion naira no you don't need a billion naira for a better life you see that now? Why do you need a billion naira? I'm tired of poverty. I need to be rich. Too small a reason. Most people do not, they can't answer the question why. Why do you want the anointing? So that me too, people will know that I'm not a very a small person. Too small a reason. Beyond personal ambition, beyond the desire to outshine, beyond the desire to be successful and celebrated we must seek to see jesus revealed and jesus glorified that must be your biggest why 
the why that drives your life the why that literally pilots everything you do beyond personal ambition which is not necessarily bad beyond the desire to be great which is not necessarily bad beyond the desire to be successful beyond the desire to be celebrated beyond the desire for fame for things for progress we must seek as the highest why the highest priority to see Jesus Christ revealed in and through our lives and to see Jesus glorified are we together listen to me I wrote something here and I want you to listen manage the obsession for self-glorification manage this is a message that is very important especially for our world today manage the temptation the craving for self-glorification my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised that you be praised my one desire that you be praised that you be praised As a person, I'm not interested in any association, any group, any pursuit that cannot afford me the opportunity to reveal Jesus and bring him glory. That's why I'm not part of many things. I'm not part of many associations. Once I cannot find in it an opportunity to reveal Jesus, I can wave you from afar carry your trouble and go my entire life revolves around revealing Jesus did you hear what I said come and join this come on some of us are in all kinds of groups until you found out now you're on your way to hellfire they call you good it doesn't have to be demonic groups you are part of everything that has choked your opportunity to reveal Jesus when you should go to church that's when they are having their meeting and because it's not a religious um, group, they say you need to be there. They made you secretary. You later became chairman. Anything that interrupts an opportunity to be a serious Christian, to love Jesus, to build, to grow, to reveal him and glorify him is vanity as far as this life is concerned. My one desire is that you be praised that you be praised that you be praised my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised that you be praised let me tell you this edit the activities in your life every activity and every pursuit in your life that is not directly connected to the revelation of Jesus and the glorification of the same let it mark time from today and you will find out that you have enough space there are not many things we're supposed to do in life is the vanity of our lives that has created so many activities in our lives that choke us and we cannot even sleep our world is full of this statement I am busy and if you edit the things we are doing I can tell you sincerely without exaggeration over 80 percent of our human activities on earth are unnecessary for our excelling and unnecessary as far as destiny is concerned just luggages that were choked upon that caravan called destiny it's time to put some of those things down there are many luggages you have been carrying. Throw them away. They have no value and no relevance. Not in your today. Not in your becoming. Not in your excelling. Not in your eternal destiny. Edit vanity from your life. So that your life is efficient enough. That everything you are doing has a direct bearing on the revelation of Jesus. I made a decision many years ago to decongest my life. 
I found out that there are many activities upon the face of the earth that are simply time wasters. You wouldn't know how much they waste your time until God helps you to progress in age. One day you will get up and say, so what returns have I gotten for investing my time in this mundane activity? Thank you so much for engaging this video to the end. Please, before you leave, give this video a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. One more thing, share this message with others to bless them. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Believers Global TV. God bless you richly as you support us. See you in our next video. We love you and celebrate you.